this is what you have. I have my Andis in there, my walls, seniors, wall detailers. Uh, this is the speed lines, Foster speed lines, um, with Andis superliners and bevels. One thing about these walls, I used to say these are my favorite edges, and no more, no more, because of the, there's a component in here that keeps breaking, really the piss off, so don't like these. These are classics. These two will forever be in my arsenal. This one as well. I probably use this clipper more than any other clipper in here, any other adjustable clipper, than these, than the Masters. These were just too heavy. They're still hefty. They're still, you know, all-time greats, of course. Super liners. I did say something about the super liners. I didn't like these initially. I thought they were trash. I said it in my uh, clipper video when they were all hung up on there. And um, the bevels. There's something going on where one side is is cutting edge like closer, like not cutting, and another side is really annoying. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Kevin the Barber with another classic and you're sitting at the barber's table. Today we're gonna be looking at my, what do we call this, a shoe box? We call this a, my DIY clipper box. Let's do that, let's do that. Now for you guys who've been watching, who watched the episode yesterday, you can see how my hair is looking. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but I feel like it's it's pretty dope. Right now though, the, the cut is not, it's not finished, so like, I'm gonna go to my boy Angel tomorrow. Haven't seen that dude in a minute. Um, I don't know why I do this. I have a watch on sometimes, and then I just look, and it's, it's not there, and I just feel stupid, but anyway. Tomorrow I'm gonna go see my boy Angel. He's gonna give me a fade, and we're gonna see how like the finished look is. I actually need to go get a bonnet, because I've been wearing a do-rag, so it's kind of been messing up my messing up my hair a little bit, but I kind of like the shape. Like What I'm going for is like a like kind of come out like this a little bit, but going in, like not straight high top, but not quite a thought cut either. Like kind of like a middle angle, you know what I mean? But enough about that. You came to watch this video to see this box. This is the, actually the original box, the same box that I use. Um, many of you guys have found out about me through the um, How to Become a Barber video, my story. I saw them and I was like, yo, one day I could be a barber. I don't know, maybe I can cut some of y'all and it'd be cool. Cause I literally just wanted to be able to cut people's hair and be nice at it. Like the coolest thing was to be able to create something, like create something on the person's head. And um, it'd be nice and I'd be, I'd make those cuts that you'd see online. That was, uh, that was years ago, but anyway. Yeah, this is the box and it's like, I've been contemplating whether I want to give it away to one of you guys, but it's like really nostalgic. I don't know if I don't know if I can give this up, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just show you guys what it what it is, what I did, and I don't know, give you guys some ideas. Like some of you guys in high school, some of you guys in college. If you don't have money for a clipper box right now, or you don't really uh, want to invest in something like that, you can do this for free. So this shoe is my palladium shoe. It's the boots I've been wearing in the video sometimes, so even some more nostalgia. Mm -hmm. But um, what I did was, first I put some hashtags on it. These were the hashtags that were popping at the time. The table barber, I don't know why I did that, because people were calling me the table barber. I should've just put the barber's table. Rate my cut, hashtag fade game too raw. It's really not that complicated. It's gonna, this might just be a short video just to show you guys. What I did was cut slits in there so that a clipper can go in there. And then I, wow, how much clippers did I have? I had one, two, three, four. I had six clippers, bro. I could have got, that's the thing about about having this is like when you put clippers in here, you need to have enough so that it, it doesn't move around when you're moving. Like I, I, I got this because me and my girlfriend, when we used to drive to college, the drive would be like uh, 10 and a half hours. So I'd want to just be able to put it in the car and not have to worry about it. I want to just carry it to the stairwell when I was cutting and not have to worry about it. And look a little professional too, you know what I mean? So I think I have a picture on Instagram Instagram about uh, with this too. Yeah, I, I put the slits in there so the cords can come out and I can plug them in. I also have foam. These things in the middle are. The foam was there so I can put them in between clippers. So like I said, like when we and my girlfriend would drive to Michigan for school, I wouldn't have to worry about clippers knocking against each other or anything like that. The whole goal of a, a case is just to keep it consolidated, keep them safe. This was like a travel box and it was very free. It was very free and in comparison to, now let me know what you guys think about this box. Uh, I, for me, at the time, what I see when I look at this man, like what I see is, I see nostalgia, as I said, I see an entrepreneur, I see somebody who really just trying to make a difference and really change the game. Like this this may just be a box to y'all. This might just be a box to you guys. But to me, this is like, this represents the passion I had. It represents drive, because if you really think about it, I mean, not that you guys would know, but at the time people were using clippers and putting them on the floor or just kind of 
I don't know, the professionalism wasn't tip top. Like I was just striving for more and couldn't really see it, didn't know where to look. And this was that attempt. Now though, uh, I don't use this anymore. Even though all my clippers are at the shop right now, I'll show you the, mm. I'll show you guys the case that I use. This is it. Now this whole thing is only $30. I had a whole foam piece in here. This is, you really just cut this up and do whatever you want for your own. You can tear them apart and slot them. And these are the, the dividers. And um, here's the casing for like shears, scissors, and all that stuff. If you want to see what I currently have in this box, like when I travel, what how I pack it, um, you know, leave a comment down below and let me know that you guys are interested. But for now, uh, thanks for watching. Oh, today is Monday. And um, I thought it'd be cool to just show you guys some of the cuts I did yesterday since today's video is gonna be so short. journey we're gonna be popping up every 10 a.m and I don't, i'm in east coast i don't know which what, what you guys are watching what time you guys like to watch drop some times down in the comment section below and the one that gets the most likes is the one i'm gonna change it to because i don't feel like 10 a.m is really that good 10 a.m eastern time by the way um so yeah if you guys want to see it at a different time if you want to upload at a different time comment down below it's up to you guys see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching the barber's table is out of here